I don't even have a computer that has that input. So, this guy's getting rid of this fucking old shit. It's like, $10 gift limit doesn't mean your minimum is spend nothing and give people your shit at the gift exchange. Hey, it could have been worse. You could have got a bottle of sand. Or it could have had somebody, like, patronizingly explaining the history of the King of Siam. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you'd already told that. Oh, hey! The folks are here. Hey, folks. Hey, I'm the mysterious hey, JG. Hey, Paul. And uh, I guess we're, we're playing some Super Strong Monster like Story. Me. Um, so, off camera, I went back and, and redid that last uh, boss battle with the Water Dragon again, because we used, like, every item... Uh, decent curing item in our inventory to get through that, and that was embarrassing. I couldn't get through without that wooden statue being used, but once I started to kind of figure out some stuff, like uh, his physical tail attack is always on whoever has the lowest hit points, that's why I kept using it on Koopy. I eventually, like mm. every couple of turns, like, it was, yeah, was save scumming, folks. Every couple of turns I would save, but uh, essentially if Avatar uses his turns to keep giving Koopy healing items and Koopy keeps defending... Um, he wasn't really pulling out that tidal wave attack all that often somehow, so I eventually got it done. In the meantime, I picked up, um, 99 Vitalin A's. I should have figured out where you buy Vitalin Alls, actually. I did not do that. I picked up, uh, some other stuff, too. Like, uh, a strange map. I don't know what that does. Hmm, strange. It shows that guy. Whoever that guy is. But, uh, also, uh, Twin Saucers, uh, I don't know. I picked up some kind of healing items, I picked up some more Revival Tents, because those seem kind of useful. I picked up, um, just stuff like a Fairy RX, fully restores HP and MP. I picked up, I pick, picked up stuff mm -hmm. that was available at the Mysterious Shop, which is so accessible to us, because I thought I could buy ingredients and too there and use that with um, Vitalin A's to mix Caprico drinks. Turns out that doesn't work. So I did just a little off-screen fishing for items. And we'll show the people how that works real quick. So, come have a look at my fishing skills. Oh, it's too small, huh? I'll just have a snack, munch, munch. So he just eats the fish, uh, and it's obviously crunching. Uh, as he eats it there, munch munch. Just eats it whole. Yep. Doesn't cook it. Doesn't do nothing like that. You just keep doing this, and every so often, like, doing the same. Oh, damn it! He actually hitting the same spot does work because I just, I just missed what I wanted you guys to see, which is him catching a big fish. So I guess we'll do it again. I got whale tears. Oh, those are really easy to tell apart from the water when you catch them with a hook. Well, off screen I got a godly treat this way, so you can see it's a really good use of your time. Oh, this magnificent catch makes me Shell Dorado's number one fisherman. I did it again! I frame skipped past it. A poison not. I <laughs> thought I had like a second before. So yeah, you can you can uh, go through a mini game where you spend a couple of seconds. Uh, playing around, goofing around, and get awesome items like Poison on. But every once in a while, you get something pretty cool. Well, you can look at the, uh, in the Japs on there, it actually explains what we can and can't get. Ingredient 2 seems to be about as good a thing as you're going to get, because I can't find any way to get that other than this and item drops. And not even item drops. There we go. Oh, there's been a catch that makes me Shell Dorado's number one fisherman. See, I just caught a poison on. And when I, yep, poison on. When I say like item fish. drop, I mean like treasure chests throughout the game, not random enemies drop uh, ingredient two. Because I have no idea how we're gonna go about getting more of ingredient two. I'm pretty sure you can't buy it, or it would have said. Yeah, the things he has highlighted for near prickly are iron scraps, light bulb, spark herbs, meteor shard, and whale tears are apparently the uh, the so goodies. Poison on might be available. A cure all or. Uh, Poison on and godly treats might be available like anywhere, and he doesn't list them as good items. Well, yeah, they're just they're there, but they're not uh, they're not bolded. You can also find wing bones and magical power. 
I just pushed up some magical power. The magical power is something that we can craft, apparently, but, um... Caprico drinks, I, I think crafting is the only way to really get them. Item shops? See, I doubt they're, they're not selling, no, um... Now, did you buy any uh, wooden dolls? I, bought, I think I bought one to replace the one we lost, and that was it. Mm. Medicine shop, so I could stir. Yeah, we've got like two ingredients. I bought 99 ingredient ones because we could buy those. So I'm not really sure what to use them to make now, because ingredient two... We've got magical power. Just saying. Um, looking at my... I should let you do this, but I'm looking at the items list here. Uh, crafting... With ingredient one and godly treats, we can make vital flow. Like, we can make a lot of things where I don't even know what they are. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, I bet you the flow no, ones are just like a regen. We need, uh... Although, revival herbs aren't. Can we buy those somewhere? Do we have them? Um, well, one of the ingredients for revival herb is magical power, which involves mixing ingredient one and ingredient two. So, either mixing an ingredient one and ingredient two is a really bad <laughs> idea, or magical power is way too valuable to use to get revival herbs. Yeah. I find it very curious that his things... Oh, do you know what? I know exactly why they break. Because he has things that go onto two lines, but he doesn't have it actually in a table. Is that the case? Yeah. Oh, he thought he was crafty, but you he's not. You think you're so clever, but you're just wasting people's time with annoying commentary over endings of video games. Anyway, um, green That's vital true. in A plus vital in A is vital in all. That might be uh, a good uh, use of stuff. Or possibly not, since I think I bought a bunch of vital in no, wait, we got a whole bunch of vitamin A, right? Am I crazy? Have we got a bunch of vitamin A? Ah, um, so we can make a whole bunch of vitamin all. There you go. No, that's not bad. Because vitamin A you can buy at the uh, teddy bear town. I didn't mean to do that. Let's see what, what vitamin A, how, what vitamin all is and how many do we have. Fully restore HP. That's, well, that's worth uh, maybe mixing some up. So Violin A restores 80 HP. 80 HD. Well, the other thing to bear in mind, folks, is we have a lot less money now because we had 99999 and I was like, that's ridiculous. So I spent a lot of money. The other thing to bear in mind is I know CSS, so I just inspected the elements and made all of these things on the same line again. So I have my own list now that I can never close this tab or else it'll lose the CSS I've changed. Oh man, okay. Well, we got it on the list, I hope. Poison on plus godly treat is strong mint. Godly treat and ingredient one is vital follow. Violin A plus violin A made violin all. So what does vital follow do? I can look that up on this list now that it's all in straight lines. Oh, that restores HP every turn. Oh yeah, we do have one of those. It's like a... Region item. Oh man, so it, it gives you the list, but it won't let you like quick pick off of the list. So you do have to go in and press violin A, violin A, and then you can only mix one at a time. <laughs> so we could spend uh, we could spend several videos just mixing violin all. That's pretty lame. That would be a fantastic video. Can you can you reorder your items? In your inventory, so vital in A is at the top of you the could, list. And then I can sit there with the uh, frame skip, slamming the button, and right. turbo and get that to happen. Get some turbo way going. Do a turbo style swap. Get vital in A above the godly treat. Yeah, I bet you we can do that. This we'll is, see if the. Work. Yeah, there you go. Check out the speed. Oh, it's like max power. The right way and the wrong way. The wrong way is like the max power way. The max power way is like the wrong way, but faster. And And now we're gonna get even worse prizes for getting all the stamps. As we spent oh, like 30 so hours in game time skip. mixing violin all. We'll keep us a little violin A on hand, just uh shits and giggles. Thank you for all you're trying to do. We wish you had a little more success with what you're trying to do, but, you know, you're trying. 
Is it good thing this guy's wearing this floppy hat or everyone would be freaking out that a robot was yeah. walking around? The cape is helping a lot too with putting people's minds at ease. A robot in a cape is a robot that you can trust. Just ask the people who are victims of uh, General Grievous, <laughs> the only robot I can think of who works. Now, um, actually this week I was talking to somebody at work and I asked them if they remembered an episode of G.I. Joe where a robot was forcing people to work but also oh, giving yeah? them coffee breaks. Did they? And yes, they I did. Knew it was real. <laughs> <laughs> and the fact that I just said that in that way suggests that I didn't really know it was real. <laughs> the, the I described it to him and I was like, do you remember the year? And he was like, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm like, and then like, he'd give them coffee breaks and be like, coffee break, coffee break. He's like, oh yeah, I remember that. It triggered a, it triggered a memory for him when I said coffee break, coffee break. And then I told him to go take his break. If you don't take your break now, you will be forced to work. So do we want to go check, uh, see if we can figure out what that strange map is indicating? I don't really think... I think that might be... Neat. Might be more difficult than we realized, of course, as well. So we may want to take a little bit of a shortcut and warp our way a little closer. He seems to be... Actually, he seemed to be hanging around on that continent that we shouldn't be at yet. Or that we got to that continent and just kind of got our butts kicked a lot. And not to mention no place is really coming up with being that much more good. I do know we have, uh, I mean, we have three more guardians to that defeat. That is true. We could just uh, get back on that. But, um, see if I can confirm that... What happens if you mix two ingredients no, once he's together? not on that continent at all. He's uh, kind of north of that. So maybe we can get there. Hey, when we're underwater, we don't fight, so that's not so bad. True. So if we kind of hug the side of this continent here. You thought you could get past there? There's a small stone yeah, on the ground. Get past. I, think... I like how all the trees are not dying from being underwater. It's actually uh, pretty impressive. Well, they're not dead yet. They're feeling bad. Oh, but they'll probably die soon. So there's that. Oh. Well, the game's a lot more disappointing now. A lot more depressing. Okay, in fairness, the, the, those things... Uh, not that it makes sense for them to be arranged that way, but um, like if they were just rocks floating on the surface, yes, you dive under them. Those, those do appear to be little individual like stalagmites or stalactites. Whichever one is the one that comes from the bottom up, that are reaching all the way up from the ocean floor. <laughs> And that's... But we still need to go south, so we might still be able to wrap around this thing. That is my hope. But that's post-flood that those things are reaching all the way to the surface, so they must have been really impressive before. This is going to happen, Zerfall. I think we're going to get to Guy. Oh, man. So where did, where did you buy this map again? Uh, the Mysterious Shop. Which mm. uh, was where we got the fairy uh, helper. Yes. Do we do we buy the fairy? I we think did we did. Buy the fairy. It cost uh, like approximately the same as building a room in one of those like worthless rooms in a house or worthless houses built mm -hmm. where like if you don't know what you're doing, you don't know that you need to build this specific building to get this specific uh, shell monster. You don't know. We're like a meat sink. There should be a giant dancing person That's here. That's what I'm thinking. Oh no, uh, we're not underwater so we can encounter enemies again. Maybe one of these guys is the giant dancing guy. He's a sea priest. Oh, we, now we yeah, have we the Aqua guys. Dragon. Uh, we have this power of the Aqua Dragon. Oh, using. nice. I, I feel like it won't help us against these guys, but... No, but I think if we fight the right, uh, 
next Guardian will have... It's like Mega Man, where you get the power of one of them and you start using them against the rest. Are we going to have to try to beat King Man Sage without mobility weapons and still have Grimith making fun of our Let's Play sight unseen? <laughs> I was watching Tecmo Super Bowl. He's making fun of my... Uh, he's like, man, I'm sure he sucks at that. And, and Bobo and Lethal in the comments were both trying to stick up for me a bit. And Grimith's like... And having not even seen it, he's like, no, I refuse to accept that he's not terrible at that. <laughs> Maybe he's, uh, projecting. <laughs> Boy, on Rose to level 42, now he knows the answer to the question of life, the universe, and everything. But does he know the question? I only know one. Hellkite. Godly treat. Oh, great. That's almost as good as a fish. <laughs> okay, this doesn't seem to be going anywhere useful, but, um... It won't let me select it. Did that require MP? Was I using MPs and not knowing it? Can everybody do it, or is it just the first person? Well, keep an eye on his MPs. He has 280. That's what it is. I thought that was awfully OP if it was like an attack all thing that you could just do all you want. Uh, and have your weakest character just constantly do that. So that, but that would explain it. Okay. But it does make almost all our mages much stronger because it's better than any other yeah. spells. This game doesn't make it that easy for you to restore MPs, though. There's no, like, Osmo spell that I'm familiar with. Alright, well, we're... Maybe now in this slightly different position we'll be better able to figure out where to go to get to that guy. Okay. okay, he's like directly south of us, but he doesn't seem to be uh, actually on land. He seemed to be dancing around in the ocean. Yeah, unless it's at his feet? No media to? I don't want him to be on that continent. Oh, was he in that cave? Oh, could be. Is there a way to get underneath, underwater to get to it? I do not know. I have a feeling that that's actually that place we got to through a series of tunnels. When we were fighting enemies that were actually like more... No? That's actually too far um, south. Hmm. Maybe he is underwater. There's apparently no uh, no mention of the mysterious map anywhere on the internet. Well, the strange with, uh... is called, the item's actually called the strange map. Oh, there's my problem. That might have something to do with it. So yeah, we're gonna spend an entire video, folks, um, looking for this thing and then giving up and getting back to the business of fighting the, um, the guardians. So according to according to this chart, the strange map is a boat that enables you to travel through shallow waters. However, I'm assuming that uh, this thing is really not lined up right, so I'm going to go ahead and fix it. I'm using my amazing web powers. Oh, good news, by the way. Uh, the video I've been watching on loop has not crashed yet, so my PC appears to be functioning in the background as I'm Let's Playing this on my laptop. Because you mentioned you, you mentioned hey, your that's, uh, skills. Hey, something. Why did I choose at that point to dive? And this strange map is not a boat. I think you're right about that. I'm pretty sure. It shows the location of something. 
question mark, question mark, question mark. That's all that he says on his little guide. Hex Island. Mysterious shop. Home of robots. Mm. This is Hex Isle, home of the Hex people, folks made of stone. So never mind, not robots. More like golems. Our village chief Zardo is currently fighting to save Sheldorado. Hey, we found uh, somebody's side quest. Oh, no, that means we have to come back yes, here with Zardo. Yes, that's why I make sure we talk to everyone before Zardo arrives. This is Zardo's house. I am friends with Zardo's son, Cordon. Oh, no. Cordon got swept away by the Great Tsunami, but oh, he yes. found his way home. Somehow, he lugged four treasure chests up to the beach. Good for him. This witch doctor named Hagar lives on an island just north of here. Hagar should know how to lift uh, curses. Perhaps That's that. probably what really is supposed to be indicated here. He's also horrible. Oh, look, it's like a beautiful rock woman. And here's a little rock boy. The family of Rockman, a.k.a. Mega Man. Look, look at my hammer. It is the perfect weapon for my father. I must hang on to it until I see my father. Then he'll have so lucky. He'll be so lucky. If you see him, tell my father to hurry up and get He's home. supposed to be a little kid. You're making him talk like Tsao P, which makes me wonder if the rock guy is supposed to be Tsao Tsao. Tell him I have a hammer to pass only to him, but it must be in person. If you are my father's friends, feel free to open the remaining chest. If you chests. are not my father's friends, please pass on this message to my father, whom you do not know. As for this hammer, I cannot let go of it until I see my father. Cool story, bro. Oh, are you people from the Dorado Guard? Well, I am Zardo's wife. Is is my husband doing fine? Heart. By the way, my son found a weapon in a chest. I wonder how um, rock people sex would work. I mean, <laughs> there's just, just a lot of clanging going on. A lot on. of like plate clanging, tectonics, clunking. You know what I'm saying? A lot of a, a lot of yeah. abrasion, a lot of erosion. It makes him sick, but he won't put it down, or else he can't. Oh, I think I skipped a, a line there. He just keeps saying over and over how he wants to give the hammer to Zardo. Maybe it's Zardo cursed! The rest until my husband returns and takes it from him. If you see Zardo, please tell him to hurry home and check on Cordon. If you see Zardo, can you maybe put him in the party? He's been writing me letters about how bored this he is. This diary is made of stone. Zardo is written on the front. Have a Yes, because everything must be made of stone since they are. I make everything out of human <laughs> flesh in my house. Nice. You notice how the uh, the beds and the uh, blankets are all made of stone. <laughs> You'll also notice that there are three beds because this is a 1950s television show. And I like how uh, Zardo, by virtue of being male, must have a larger bed than his wife. Even though all the sprites are exactly <laughs> the same size. <laughs> Today, a letter came from Bruna of Sandside. He is seeking my help. A slave trader named Dogler is kidnapping women in his region. Abruda is an old friend, therefore I will rush to his aid. This means I must leave my son, Cordon, and wife, Milton, all over. I will make preparations for my departure in a boat made of stone. <laughs> The time seems short. <laughs> this diary gives me a chance to reflect on the evils in this stone world. Today will be tough on me. I arose stone early and let my stone son and stone wife stone sleep. <laughs> goodbye, Milza Cordon. Stone goodbye. He didn't even... He's like, I'm not leaving during the day Avatar so you can see me. turned a page. He expected a blank sh sheet or slate. Instead, he saw entries done in a feminine style. I am Zardon, my wife is great! <laughs> she understands me and allows me to wear her clothes without judging me. <laughs> I know you wanted us to stone sleep, but we stone woke up and rushed to the stone beach. <laughs> Whilst you are out doing your stone duty, I, Milza, will keep up the stone diary. 
Today, you stone departed for Stone Sandside on the stone boat the villagers made, Stone Darling. Some arose before Stone Might to help get the stone boat ready. You are Stone Truly, bless Stone Ned. He turned another page and found children's handwriting. Hey, that's our boat. He oh, stole man, son of a bitch. Yeah, I guess he got it first. Stay safe, father, and good luck. I will be waiting here like a good boy. Is this, uh, Nobutata, the son of Nobunata? <laughs> Koran, though you're still small, you have a man's responsibilities now. Build stone robots as a stone man. <laughs> These are the, they're the only rounded people. All the rest you are very square. Protect. You know, well, yeah, see, that's why he knows it's his son. He doesn't have to worry about his wife screwing around because uh, <laughs> if a bunch of square children come out, he's gonna have, they're going to be held to pay as a stoneman. You will protect your mother in your father's steed. What's that? Yes, father. Leave it to me. Good, good. You're a fine stone son, Cordon. Make sure you get me a hammer while I'm gone. Milza, you may have it tough for a while, tougher than stone. But please hang in there. <laughs> hang in there, baby. Just like the cat in the poster. I'll be fine. Don't worry about us. Just give it your all and come home. Corda and I shall wait your return from here. You got some stones to make us wait for you. I'm counting on that, Milza. <laughs> oh, darling! Yes. Stay safe. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Okay, then. I was ready to leave, but I'm off. Hopefully I will encounter friendly robots whom I can find a cat and cape for. Oh, please be careful. I was kind of hoping that she was going to be like, she's like, oh, darling. And he's like, yes, what? No, no, I'm just saying, oh, yeah, oh darling. Supposed, that was supposed I'm to be my you. cry as you left. You weren't meant to come back. I, I love the little uh, animation they had for the sun waving. That was a nice touch. Yeah. It's been a while since you left. I hope you are well, stone darling. Return home stone safely when the job is stone done, my stone love. Night has fallen again. I'll turn him quietly so Rock Cordon won't be stone disturbed. Don't worry, Cordon's stoned. He won't hear anything. Good night, Cordon, and my darling. The diary ended there. But wait, there's there's Cordon's pages. That is adorable. And now we go back in, and she's like, Why are you reading his diary? How dare you? Okay, so she didn't actually uh, notice that we read his diary. I wonder if you have him in your party when you go to the diary the first time. He's like, what? Yeah. What's your What's your problem? Do you have any respect for privacy? Right, Come right. on. They've fallen hard times. It's harder than stone. Much of our world is below sea level. As stones, we will only become smoother and smoother with time spent underwater. I've lost, I've lost the picture. You've lost the picture? It froze after, at the very end of the diary, well, it just froze. because that's such an unforgettable moment. Well, the video's almost over, but... Monsters petrifying attacks don't work against our X-Tribe. That's because our bodies are already made out of stone. However, I, you would think if they used petrified attack on the stone people, the stone people would suddenly get really fleshy. Zardo was our only <laughs> member who was trained to fight. The rest of us just sink to the bottom of the pool. They should be. They should just be natural warriors, able to just walk into battle and punch things without training. Oh no! Somebody hit me with a, a sword. Sorry about dinging your sword up. Uh, here's a punch to the face. Zardo faces. Zardo will think of something. He's the smartest stone I know. Haven't you heard the expression "as intelligent as a stone"? Yes. <laughs> Don't know that it's a compliment. wish stay the night and get some rest enjoy sleeping in our stone beds they're as comfortable as a giant rock and the last person in the village 
So, the old village chief is a fine person. We all respect them. So, did you give us enough hints that we should come here playing a Zardo game? I'm not sure that you did. Anyway. This, this may be, um, uh, the jar guys. Ernie's. This might be Ernie's spot to shine. to come back with Ernie the jar guy? <laughs> Just thinking, well, I, I mean, people, it's all these stones, and he's in a, in a jar. People have been when they're going to see the return of Garo the Wolfman, and by people, I mean, like, the one guy's commenting occasionally. <laughs> <laughs> Although quietly in the background, there is someone lurk hate watching these videos, going, "How dare they mock Jap Zone?" <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'll show them. I'll make my items list line up even more poorly. <laughs> All right, folks. <laughs> so we're gonna call it a video there. Now that I'm done being ungrateful, um, when we come back, uh, I guess we need to bring back. Uh, um, I don't know. Maybe uh, maybe the Ice Princess, Krista. It seems like there's some character who really should get a chance to come through the village here. We'll figure that out next time. Mm -hmm. I'm Mysterious JG. I want to thank I'm you guys for watching, and we hope you'll join us for more of Super Shell Monster Story. Bye.